Let's finish up our lightsaber electronics and assemble our blade. Before we start setting this up, let me show you what it's going to look like. We're going to have two LED strips back to back like this, with the LEDs staggered so the light can be distributed more evenly. There's going to be a single male connector at the hilt side, and this is very important. The LED strip with the male connector has these arrows going away from the hilt, while the other strip has the arrows coming back towards the hilt. At the very end, these strips will be soldered together and will have one LED on top to shine light out of the tip. Now let's put it together. Line the LED strips up with the bottom of the blade and then trim them off so that they stop at the tip of the blade. When I make the cut, I'll be careful to leave as much pad as possible on the long side that we'll be using so that I have an easier time with the soldering. Then I'll desolder the female connector from the hilt end and set it aside for later. I'll remove the cover from one strip and the cover and tape from the other. I'll use the tape to stick them together, starting at the tip and making sure the LEDs are staggered. Then I'll move down the strips, carefully sticking it down so that they stay straight. With them stuck together, I'll actually peel them apart at the tip and fold over the farther out LED so that it'll be on top of the blade. Then I'll bend the copper pads from the other strip over the copper pads from this strip which I just folded down. We need to make sure the copper pads are touching so that we can solder them together easily. Now it's important to remember that these are two separate pads, so you're going to have to heat both of them up with the soldering iron in order to spread the solder across and get a good connection. The middle one is definitely the hardest, so I'd recommend doing the outside ones first so you're a little bit practiced. Now let's set up the electronics for the Arduino. First, I'll solder the red wire from the 9 volt clip to the switch. Then I'll cut two red wires and solder both of them to the other side of the switch. I'll take one of these and solder it onto the Arduino board's V in port. And then I'll take the other one and solder it to the LED strip's red wire. Then we'll take the black wire from the battery clip and solder two black wires to it. I'll solder one of these to the Arduino's ground pin, and the other to our female connector's white wire. Then, I'll want to extend the green wire coming off of the plug with a red wire going to port 3 on the Arduino, so that the Arduino can control the LEDs. The last thing we need to do is take a wire from the Arduino's 5 volt port and a wire from the Arduino's port 4 and connect them to our button. We'll start by tinning the button's pads and tinning the wires, and then all we have to do is press the wire down and put the soldering iron on top of it, and they'll merge together. Awesome! The LEDs are really starting to look like a lightsaber blade, so let's put that together next. I'll take the LEDs and the packing foam and test how much I can reasonably cram into the blade. Keep in mind that the foam does bunch up when you try to cram it into the blade, so you may want a little bit more room than you initially expect. I've decided to go with 3.75 inches, so I'll cut a few sections of packing foam at that width and place them next to the LED strips. I'll start by taping one edge of the foam to the LED strips and then wrap the foam around as tightly as possible and then tape it in place. Once we have all three sections of foam wrapped and taped, we'll take the diffusive film out of our blade, unwrap it a little bit so it's looser, and then slide it around our foam construction. Then we'll tighten it as much as possible to compress the foam in and then slide it into the blade. Then we can connect this plug to the plug we solder to our electronics and power it on. Now our blade is looking awesome, so let's create a hilt to match it. In the next video, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss future lightsaber videos.